What's up, people? This is Jocko Sims, and you're listening to me on HollywoodStreetKing.com. So check it out. My man. All right. I play Anthony Adams and uh, uh, on Crash on, on Stars. Now, because my man Dennis is is down and out, the show's kind of in limbo. It's not looking like it'll come back, but season one is on DVD everywhere. Mm-hmm. Season two uh, will be coming out soon. So you got to Netflix it. You got to check it out because you get to see this man act crazy. Now, Dennis Hopper plays a, a big-time music producer. Got you. Uh, for a long time. Uh, and his character is likened to that of uh, Phil Spector. Mm. And everybody knows <laughs> Phil Spector. He's got controversy, man. Oh, Phil Spector's my man. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, I'm hip to Phil. I'm hip to Phil. I, I, you know, we know Phil out here. Yeah, I'm hip to Phil. I mean, I met him through Ike Turner. Okay, yeah. yeah. Wow. So, yeah, you know, Dennis... Um, uh, shared office space with Phil for uh, a few years. I think he said something like twenty years or so. So he he, he knows him well too. So he, he you know he modeled some of the stuff going on. Well, the writers definitely did with Phil. So you know you know my character, he wants to be in the music industry. So he applies for this job to be his driver. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know you know from the first interview, you you can tell that Dennis is uh, well Ben. His, his character's name is Ben Sanders and Ben. Is a no nonsense type of dude, straight to the point. He's like, "Don't play me no damn mixtape. I just need you to drive, and all of this stuff." And and I'm like, "Okay, you know." So, but uh, shortly after that, man, the, uh, Ben takes a, a, a liking to my character and uh, starts to mold me as his protege. And he not only does he uh, give me an opportunity musically, but he just puts me on the spot. On the third episode, Jim Jones makes an appearance as himself. Okay. And. Uh, he he said, "Hey man, I want you to meet my new protege. This is uh, and he just makes up a name for me. He calls me Panic. I'm looking like, what the hell are you doing? You know, because my character writes. You know, he writes poetry, he writes some 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 lyrics, but he never thought he just was gonna be up and you know in a position to spit. You know, so he puts on the spot. Jim's like, okay, yeah, come down to the studio later on. I'm like, dude, can't believe you did that. So. Big big performance happens, man, in the studio, man, and I, that's definitely my favorite uh, part thus far uh, on the show. So if you get a chance to check that out, pick up season one and check out the third episode. I, there's a song that I uh, I uh, co-wrote and I fully produced, uh, and it's called Head Up. And uh, the response to that, that episode and that song has been insane. I had to throw the song up on iTunes and everything, so I was real hot. Could you tell me, for real, how it is working with one of my film idols, Dennis Hopper. Can you tell me how he's working with Dennis? Because, like, to me, he's straight G. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, tell me how it is working with Dennis, man. Like, For sure, man. I would, off the bat, you know, it was cool because I I got the part and I went out there in New Mexico and they hadn't cast uh, Ben Sanders yet, who's, who, who Dennis plays. Okay. There were a couple of names being thrown around and he was one of them. I said, oh, my God, like, this will be incredible. And a couple of days go by, man, they seal the deal, and then we got Dennis Hopper. I, I just couldn't believe it. Like, I, I was on cloud nine. I'm like, I don't know how. <laughs> how they did that. I'm on the show, <laughs> and my acting partner will be Dennis Hopper. What the hell is going on? Did, did that help you with your acting? Did he help you? Or, I mean, uh, you know, you, whenever he made you get step somebody, it up. Like, it's, gonna, it's just going to, you got to elevate your game. You got to stay on top of it. So, got you. Uh, I, I wasn't nervous about the acting part, but definitely meeting him. I was like, oh man! So when I met him, he was so sweet, man. From the from the first day, he said, I really like the script. This is cool. I said, I, I agree. I'm looking forward to it. And the first thing we shot um, was uh, this intense scene where he pulls a knife on somebody. You know, he hires me to be his driver. Mm-hmm. Pulls a knife on this guy, and I got to break it up. And I don't. And my character doesn't know it's the first day on the job. We don't know what's going on. You know, and chronologically, that's not the first thing that happens in the story, but that's the first thing we shot. So I had to ratchet up. You know, what I mean, got to get, you had to get that energy up and, and do this intense scene with Hopper, man. And that was my introduction into it. So I was, it, it was cool. But he, he's always been humble. He's, mm-hmm. he's sweet, and that's the most overwhelming aspect of him because somebody who's been there, I mean, he's done over 150 films. He's worked with everybody, and this. He has really, really enjoyed doing. While we were waiting on word for season two, 
last year. Uh, I talked to him a couple of times on the phone, and he said, have you heard anything? I was like, no. He said, oh, because, I, you know, I really want to do this. And and that just that warmed my heart. We had done a whole season together, and he's basically telling me, you know, he you know he gets movie offers, he gets a lot of stuff coming his way, a lot of other TV shows, and he said he he really wanted to do this again. So, man, great. I mean, I bet there's a lot of slander out there on his name right now in the press, and I'm not even trying to hear it. You know what I'm saying? Like people talking a lot, like you know his fan, like you know he's going through something. I'm not even trying to hear it. You know. Right. I also heard though that you know. Um, he's not in the, his health is not holding up right. You know what I'm saying? And I do wish him the best on that. You know, because Dennis is needed, man. You know, yeah, your prayers are definitely welcome, man. He, he's uh, been battling cancer for about nine years, and it's uh, sort of just kind of gotten out. And uh, you know, he's had his ups and downs, but he, he's he's pretty tough, dude. Got you. Tough dude. I mean, he got up and went to work every day, and every day, people did not know. Wow, she's a strong man. Fighting cancer, right? It was just crazy. Wow. It's crazy, and I, I, learned, I learned a lot from him. What's up, people? This is Jocko Sims, and you're listening to me on HollywoodStreetKing.com. So check it out. My man. All right. All right. 